So there I was trying to recover from the stroke, um, and I was transferred uh, to a rehab facility. Now, what was interesting about that is that they really limited my mobility. Um, basically, um, when I was in the hospital, there were nurses that really took care of me, got me walking, moving around, really paid close interest into um, my care. Now, I don't want to degrade or anything the rehab hospital because they did a great job, but they limit me significantly. Um, I couldn't transfer myself out of bed. I couldn't, and, and I didn't walk as much as I would have liked. Um, at the uh, hospital, they got me up and they moved me around. It took them quite a few nurses to do that, but at, at the uh, rehab facility is basically, you're in a wheelchair and there you go. Uh, we'll exercise you at times, but it's all going to be scheduled and you're not going to we're not going to just come and get you on a walk and that kind of stuff. So there I was in a rehab facility, and I was 40 years old, and I was put in the young stroke ward. Now, my um, roommate was 80. It was his second stroke. So that's the young stroke ward. I really felt great about being there. Um, it was very noisy. Uh, it was hard to get to sleep. And again, I was in still a lot of pain. Um, my day uh, consisted of basically laying around, getting me out of bed and putting me in a wheelchair and doing rehab therapy. Um, one of the horrible things about this stroke that I had was the fact that I really couldn't eat. Um, my vocal cord was paralyzed, so I really couldn't speak all that well. And thus, I couldn't really eat normal food. They wouldn't allow me to have normal food. Um, so I had things called thickened, thickened food. Um, actually, I drank thickened liquid, which was a water, which was actually quite horrible tasting. Um, but I had to do that because my vocal cord was paralyzed. It was impossible for me to eat solid food because I can what's called aspirate, meaning that if I eat solid food, um, it can get stuck in my vocal cord or and into my lung. And I can aspirate, get a lung infection, pneumonia, and possibly die. Um, that actually happened to uh, Christopher Reeves. He was actually able to breathe on his own, and what he did was uh, aspirated, and he died of pneumonia or a lung infection. Terrible. So they had to make sure that didn't happen to me. So uh, I suffered with horrible food, um, liquid food, and I lost a lot of weight. I was down to 145 pounds before I could start eating normal food again because it was just horrible tasting. The other thing that's interesting is that my smell was gone. So even if I could enjoy solid food, um, I couldn't smell it. So my taste wasn't as good. But the horrible part about the thick and liquid was the quality, the, 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 the feeling. Um, it was really pretty gross, to tell you the truth. So there I was having to have that, and I was doing my therapies. Therapies consisted of basically um, trying to stand trying to fold laundry, walking, speech therapy. Um, I still couldn't see very well, and um, I had what was called rotary nystagmus, which is basically my eyes would do this all day long. So you can imagine your eyes and your head just doing like this, not being able to focus on anything. It's kind of impossible to, um, to see. Um, and double vision was more than double vision. It was like quadruple vision. Um, and vertigo, which is dizziness, was unbelievable. Um, so even sitting in a chair, I'd be dizzy, just sitting in a chair. Uh, I'd have to close my eyes most of the time, but you could see my eyeballs under my eyelids going like this. Now the other thing about um, a stroke is that the fatigue is absolutely almost unbearable. Um, you're tired all the time. All you don't want to do is sleep. And the thing is, they make sure you don't sleep all the time which is actually very good because you don't want to do that. Um, and particularly after you eat, um, even with thick and liquid, they have to make sure you don't lay back down again because if you vomit, for me particularly, I could aspirate um, if food comes up after I'm laying down. So they make sure you sit up after you eat for a while. So my life wasn't all that fantastic. Um, after a stroke again, uh, as you, if you heard the other stroke uh, pieces, is that I had given up initially. 
But after going through this, I was like saying, man, this really just kind of sucks. I really don't want to be like this. Um, and believe me, having a stroke is not a picnic. And having people take care of you is not a picnic either.